<laughs> uh, I'm thrilled to be choreographing uh, with Grand Rapids Valley right now for no choice of my own um, really stems from a lot of the work that I do as an emerging family therapist. It's inspired by not a specific story, but the general um, dynamics that I get to be a part of uh, through the therapeutic process. Not only looking at some of the difficulties of partnerships, but also taking a look at some of the joys and strengths of partnerships. So for this in piece in particular, um, we begin by seeing a, um, really nine people on um, their own single struggle. Um, and what that struggle is, is really um, intense and personal for each dancer. And through that struggle, um, they begin to find a partner who understands them, who can in some ways bear the weight of their burden while also um, supporting uh, in the other direction. And so uh, through the choreographic process, um, I found a lot of emotionally driven movement, um, and I tried to use that to create something innovative. Okay. So then the piece continues um, and really finds the courage to go behind closed doors and look at the dynamics of one couple that um, has a really unhealthy relationship. And I was at first hesitant to tell this part of the story. Um, it's a part of the work that I have the, the privilege of doing and working on with couples um, behind the therapeutic door, but it, it has given me a great window into what oftentimes happens behind closed doors of a home. And as I was feeling somewhat timid or um, maybe overwhelmed by telling this part of the story, I, I had several colleagues and other choreographers say, no, this is an important thing to tell and this is an important thing and a universal thing for us to expose and really look at. Um, so the, the piece continues and really looks at um, the unhealthy dynamics of one couple um, and what some of those unhealthy dynamics can evolve into um, in terms of intensity and isolation and fear. Um, so I'm hoping that the themes are really universal enough for people to connect to and maybe to find some strength or encouragement from. So I am collaborating with Martha Waldvogel, who is a very gifted um, harpist. She's also on faculty at Hope College and Grand Valley. Um, so Martha and I have really been collaborating with the dancers. Uh, she is not accompanying this piece. She has been an integral part of the work. Um, she is selecting music and then also composing music that really helps tell the story. So through our rehearsal process, Martha has been involved and there are moments where we really stop and reflect on if the music is telling the story um, or if the dancers need to maybe react to or with the music in a different way. And so there's been this great relationship that uh, has been built between Martha, me, and the dancers. And that's been an exciting part of this collaborative process. I am also collaborating with Nate Blyton on this project. He is designing projections. And so along uh, with kind of the focus of Move Media, we're really incorporating um, a media element. The projection will show not only on the floor, but also on the dancers, um, and it's a sound reactive real-time projection. So uh, the mic input from the harp, as well as the projection designs are gonna be interacting in real time uh, to produce a, a layer to the, to the palette, really, of the stage, and create some really interesting um, media elements for that, that not only help tell the story, but also create um, escape on the stage that I think will be uh, innovative and interesting.